His Excellency, God's will have you. G-C-O-N is really admired and drawn to a lot of people because he has, by dint of hard work and determination to succeed, made himself not out of his own volition, though a go-to personality. For he has what it takes to the point when he speaks, people win. God's will have for many years has been a household name to so many, especially when we talk about politics, good governance, altruism, intelligence, and making positive impact with indelible print that reveals and rattle I can do spirit in many. This man thanks to among his contemporary, respectable admirer, a role model as an unfinged source of inspiration to so many. Most especially, this man has taken many lives from rocks to whole smile and affluence. Senator Godwin Obot Akpabio, GCON is organized by all and sundry in his time and space as executive governor of Akwaibon State for his extraordinary effort to be a popular, powerful, performing, a modern politician in the modern world. This man effortlessly made remarkable achievements in his time in the modern global political landscape, taking into every imaginable fact about this uh, extreme Akwaibon son from sleeping suburb of Canaan in excellent Udim local government area of Akwaibon state. Never before done in this form. To invent the office of a public figure, the roll call of Honorable Commissioner, Executive Governor, Senator of Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Minister and Senior President of Federal Republic of Nigeria. The truth is that what has driven this great man to be a remarkable and to consistently maintain this team is not because he was born with a silver spoon. Even though his body language without being asked speaks of his intrinsic personal determination, hard work, dedication, flexibility, with great sense of purpose, intelligence, fear of God, will to take even a hard decision as an action as situation demand and being at the right place with the right people at the right time. This self-evidence is very instructive which can spoil every youth who releases himself or herself to man the wire to be another great achiever and a mentor who silently mentor and inspire others to greatness. It is a fact to say that the build of our experience as a public figure by His Excellency Senator Godwill Akpabio GCON started through his appointment as the Honorable Commissioner in Akwaibon State under the governorship of His Excellency Obong Victor Atta in 2008. Godwill Akpabio GCON ascended the seat as the third executive civilian governor of the state. And for the first time in the existence of the state, it enjoyed a new league of life under its administration and it leaves and bonds as its revenue base dramatically improved. His Excellency goes with Obot Apabio Sternon as the governor of Akwaibon State to remain a reference point in the presentation of democratic uh, politics in Nigeria and beyond. The scorns of this famous uh, Akpabio dynasty, born in uh, December 9, 1962 in excellent Udim local government area of Akwa Ibon State, started his primary education at Methodist Primary School in Kana and emerged with distinction before proceeding to the federal government college protocol for his West Africa school certificate and GCA level. He went to University of Calabar where he bagged his LLB in law and further proceeded to the law school in Lagos. Education opened the door to be able to attain a personal fulfillment in life, career, family life, and to be able to possibly contribute to the betterment of society, which ordinarily would not come to individuals who spawn education with excuses and mantras. His footprint into governance began with the appointment of the commissioner in the cabinet of XY governor, who such life of performance, integrity, intellect, and political charisma beam in Akpabio's direction from Ministry of Petroleum 
Admiral resources through uh, the Ministry of Local Government and Chief Tense in Affairs to the Ministry of Lands and Housing, where he resigned and answered the clarion call to governance. He is one leader who has fully utilized the opportunity of serving his people to the best of his ability with all sincerity of purpose by working tirelessly against all odds and improve the quality of life of the present and future generations of Akwa Ibom people, as well as empower them into a peaceful, just, as an egalitarian society. His recorded developmental indices shows that Governor Akwabio inherited a state that was in real need of construction and rehabilitation, a state whose infrastructure and other attendant social services require a fast restructuring to meet acceptable standards as is obtainable elsewhere. A state whose capitalism was born, the image of uncivilized society with non-workable drainage system, few access routes, dilapidated education and health facilities, and youth streaking by gross poverty and unemployment. His robust spirit of purposeful democratic leadership has broken the jinxes as a governor with very bold and ambitious vision who believe in the miracle of infrastructure revolution. His passion for quality and excellence in related is engaging Julius Baja, a world-class construction giant which has turned many parts of Aquaibon state to a busy construction site. He changed the face of the government house by demolishing the old labyrinth structure and constructed a brand new state of the art government house that is adjudged today as one of the best in Nigeria and Africa. The state capital has been transformed into one of the most sought after destinations in Nigeria through Aquabio's phenomenal achievement. Evidence in excellent road network with several bypasses, bridge, and fly over to discongest traffic holders at strategic locations. The capital city now has a great value, taste, excellent side view, and uh, special attention with eye-catching street lights, green trees, and gardens to make the city a living paradise of high global tourism value in Nigeria. He has indeed laid the foundation for the growth and development of an available aqua ebon through and leaving the infrastructure that will remain the envy of most parts of the country. Based on this a developmental blueprint, he has built several new routes, rehabilitated and resurfaced hundreds of roads within and outside the capital city. With Africa's first underground pipe jacking a drainage system, to put under control the meanings of the erosion and flood, which has claimed many lives, displaced some communities, and rendered many homeless in some states of the Federation. He has restored the educational infrastructure as a provision for quality education. His rapid developmental stride in the area of free, compulsory, and quality education delivery which is open to all Nigeria regardless of state of origin as received a global commendation as a benchmark in visionary leadership. Chief Apabio's government also trained and developed thousands of youth in numerous fields of science and technology overseas to achieve a stable platform for future advancement in education, governance, technology, and industry. He has initiated to improve the capacity development through manpower training in basic areas of need, especially in agriculture, through integrated farmers a scheme designed to ensure food sufficiency, give the people a new access to tertiary institution through commencement of the Aqua Ibom University, build private sector driven gas processing plant to supply gas to turbine built across the country, construct the world class tertiary health institution, 20th anniversary hospital and health centers to improve health care delivery to citizenry, especially the parlor, the agent, the physically challenged, pregnant women, and other to prevent such diseases that may cripple the people tomorrow. In the area of human capacity development, he created jobs, 
empowered the less privileged and the youth to generate opportunity for them. He created an investment-friendly Aquaibon state as well as opened the channel for success in private development to realize the skill and competencies required for people to help themselves when opportunity demand such from them. His modest reform and marvelous achievement in the area of mass infrastructure development across the state also include the first African e-library, an international Olympic size stadium, first Ibom International Airport, a multi-billion West Africa premium trade center and an entertainment scenario, the Tropicana design to attract people from all over the world, the state of the art banquet hall with the latest technological wonders of the universe to promote tourism, with several minor achievements desperately needed by the people, like mini water projects in all local government areas of the state to make life comfortable and electricity linking several communities to the national grid. He has laid an irreversible foundation for the realization of this wonderful dream. His administration has central focus on the welfare of the Aquaibon people and the rapid economic development of the state. Aquabio's enduring sense of a commitment and indomitable spirit to the challenge and the cause of development to realize the state that will be a beacon of development and progress in the Federation, a state whose citizens are enlightened, skilled, and a healthy state that is poised to compete very with the rest of the world in terms of benefits and challenges of democracy, a very peaceful state and home of happiness, prosperity, and fulfillment. His Excellency Goswin Obot Akpabio is indeed the instrument of uncommon transformation in the Aquaibon state as once pedestrian state now has become a choice of the national and local international conferences. He does not only demystify the governance, but adds glamour to the art of governance and teaches the people that governance is all about humility, sincerity, dedication, and quality service delivery to the governed. He, without managing the world, pain a true picture of democratic governance and justify the mandate given to him by his people based on his outstanding performance and the model for national development this uncommon achiever has been lavishly bestowed with incredible award and honor nationally and internationally furthermore the zeal of this great son of our quiet state spotlighted in a new dimension of responsibility as a quiet bomb people elect him to represent them in a senate of federal republic of nigeria to meet the demand of a new age on the part of government individual corporate citizens alike to recognize that we have a duty to ourselves the society by accepting them gladly and believing that it is so satisfying and rewarding to give all to succeed in a given task. He has gravely shown through his great stride that it is not what you have that matters, but what you do with what you have. The principal horse way, which has made this esteemed man of great history appear extraordinary. It takes my belief that this great son of Aquaibon State has used his psychology, physiology, productivity, and persuasion skill to ignite his passion and pedigree for positive result that he has become intensely obsessed to be on the leaves and band of success, to be a role model to many. Many people who have done so well through determination, be that noticeable, would not have been what they come to be. Taking more or less of various circumstances before them into consideration, but the wisdom to list into the inner voice in them, which so many too do not bother about, has made this daring and determined personality of our time to be great achiever. But by the antecedent and being of hard work, this great leader of our time was skyrocketed to the office of the minister of Nigeria Delta become a member of the core decision body 
making of the federal block of Nigeria. More often, all that happened to us in life as faith. But certainly, this belief do have the spirit to desire to make a positive impact in life. Nothing comes by chance, produces satisfaction or sense of achievement in life of the beneficiary. That notwithstanding, faith is the power that controls everything that happens in one's life that cannot be stopped or changed. I celebrate this man of history today because he was in love to Lixton and kill into what providence had for him to be who he is today. To keep alive and awake the giant in him. Daring to triumph is built around self-confidence, self-worth, and sense of purpose. In recognition of your purpose on earth, determination and passion, driven from within, with ensued convincing positive attitude. With all or most of these are in place, you will see yourself ultimately triumphing with unhidden satisfaction because a goal has been reached which without daring. It would be like a task of climbing a high mountain without getting to its summit. To many youths, at the level of His Excellency's achievement, age and exposure, experience bring to mind that it really crosses their mind. The Lord their life speaks in a document of this expected magnitude, oblivious of the extent of what their life story can possibly do in the life of someone out there. With this in mind, therefore, it is thrilling to see the exceptional talent to be so extraordinary, Make, thus making it possible to turn a blind eye to in writing about him. In this frame of our well thought out and provoking vision, if the reforming nuance of success and achievement is rationally inspired others and make more heroes, icon and role model in our world. This is an important contemporary assessment of His Excellency, Gosun Obon Apabio, GCON, that will take us back home to realize that lives should count while we are living, not just to wake up in the morning and go to work for the sake of taking care of ourselves and family, but reaching out to the point that our existence changed lives and brought smile to the people who were oppressed. His Excellency, God will open a Pablo to force squarely and feed to be called a kingmaker, as I discover many you, regardless of gender, to a level position for political inclusiveness, for the good of the state, he is a respected voice in our political circle, a man of integrity with pedigree on rights, unbiased for contribution in his choice for human capital development and opportunity, competent and vast in sound, knowledge economy, a leader who has refined the leadership for enhanced productivity that is real in many establishments. He is a pace setter with sustained endeavors to understand a problem in a given situation and with bunny burden to push for enduring solution. He showed keen interest in any matter that affects acquired people to see that everyone has grown to smile at the end of the day. He has in the short span of his uh, sojourn in planet Earth, so far has been undoubtedly seen as a symbol of hope and aspiration. This great man, a highly respected personality that has brought smile to so many families, whom before his intervention in their lives were hope shrunken. I in despair, he believed that in touch one's life, many lives will return be positively affected to bring back hope to so many. This is the spirit of being a brother's keeper. For all hands are not equal, especially when you see yourself better off and other does neighbor is wallowing in penury with no hope for a better tomorrow. He is remarkable 
as he does willingly and happily. When someone does good, sincere and good people can do nothing but promote it. I believe that this personality profile has the resilience to produce many of his kind from the bunch of upcoming youth to be readily motivated on a positive curve line and make a greater history for themselves. It is a great privilege and honor to us all to craft out a product that is poised to be contagious and arguably lead people in the path of the great next and honor with conscious effort leave their marks on the sands of time. His Excellency, God's will up about a Pabio, GCON is on course in his political career and the road ahead for him. The emergence of uh, His Excellency, God's will Apabio as a senior president, having known his pedigree as a technocrat who ventured into public administration and demonstrated a passionate commitment to development and social economic uplift of the first Aquaibom state, where he was governor for eight years and later, which he has served in different capacity as a senior minority leader, minister of Niger Delta, and now president of the Senate of Federal Republic of Nigeria. In his permanent commitment to the growing the nation's economy in tandem with the vision of the president, the Aquabian led the National Assembly did not limit its focus to relationship with the country parliament and head of government, but also international organization, daily preaching the message of Nigeria's socio-economic emancipation. He is indeed a man with innate attribute or sound character, can have disposition and passion for social justice in his pragmatism and sincere commitment to reinvent the Aqua Ibon dream. He is a distinguished politician, a pragmatic governor, a senator, a minister, and a senior president of the Republic of Nigeria, a builder, a charismatic, an astute leader, a vibrant transformer, a dynamic dreamer, a strategist par excellence, and a champion of success. There's no better way to honor this great man of our time than to inscribe his name and achievement on marble of posterity. He is happily married and blessed with children. Thanks and God bless His Excellency Senator Goswil Obot Akpabu.